sign convention for spherical mirrors the sign convention is also applied for lenses okay first let us draw a concave mirror like this this is the silver portion or painted portion of the concave mirror and this one is the reflecting surface let us draw uh, principal axis this is the pole and this one is the center of curvature and this point is known as focus this distance between the pole and focus is known as focal length distance between the pole and center of curvature is known as radius of curvature okay let me discuss one by one the design rules first design rule is all the distances are measured from the pole of the mirror all the distances are measured from the pole of the mirror for example an object is placed here for example an object is placed here the distance between the object and pole is known as object distance or distance between the object and pole is known as object distance it is denoted by u don't confuse this small u because in your first view see u means initial velocity v means final velocity but in second view see especially in this chapter u is the object distance and v is the image distance so this is the object that this one is the pole so the distance between this object and pole is known as u that is object distance so now we measure for this first rule all the distances are measured with from the pole so we now we shall measure this object distance from the pole towards the object so now similarly the object forms an image here like this so image distance is the distance between the pole and of image so this is denoted by v and this distance is also measured with respect from the pole this uh, focal length radius of curvature and all the distances are measured from the pole you clear that what is that all the distances are measured from the pole whatever it may be all the distances are must measured from the pole shall i write here all the distances are measured from the pole measured from the pole okay next so our second point second point uh, first point is all the distances are measured from the pole from the, sorry all the distances are measured from the pole of the mirror okay next second point the distance is measured along the direction of incident ray are taken as positive and third point the distance is measured opposite to the direction of incident ray are taken as negative for example this source emits light or this ray of light is incident along this direction this is the direction of incident ray suppose you measure the distances along the direction of incident ray like this then that distance can be taken as positive suppose if you measure the distance along opposite to the direction of incident ray be taken as negative for example suppose you measure this object distance from the pole so this is the incident ray or you know that all the ray all the distances are measured from the pole only suppose you measure this object distance you will measure along like this this is opposite to the incident ray so you will get negative sign for you will get negative sign for object distance suppose you want to measure the image distance this image distance is also measured from the pole that is the first sign convention suppose you measure this distance along this direction this direction is along the direction of incident ray then we can take v as positive i think it is clear to you know all the distance sorry the distance measured along the direct all the distances whatever it may be all the distances are measured along the direction of incident ray are taken as positive and all the distances are measured opposite to the direction of incident ray are taken as positive okay shall i write here the distances measured measured along the 
direction of incident ray along the direction of incident ray is taken as positive third point is the distances measured the distances measured opposite to the direction of incident ray opposite to the direction of incident ray direction of incident ray are taken as negative okay next the height measured upwards the height measured upwards with respect to principal axis are taken as positive similarly the height measured downwards with respect to principal axis are taken as negative height measured upwards with respect to principal axis is taken as positive and height measured downwards with respect to principal axis is taken as negative shall i write here height measured upwards with respect to principal i shall i write principal axis as pa principal axis is taken as positive and the height measured measured of uh, downwards so downwards with respect to principal axis is taken as negative shall i repeat once again all the distances are measured from the pole of the mirror the distance measured along the direction of incident ray are taken as positive the distances measured opposite to the direction of incident ray are taken as negative the height measured upwards with respect to principal axis is taken as positive height measured downwards with respect to principal axis is taken as negative i think you, you have little doubts about this but it is clear in certain stages by solving some problems okay next we have to derive the relation between focal length and radius of curvature focal length is represented by small f and radius of curvature is represented by capital r right? uh, capital r so now we have to derive the relation between f and r what is f f is the distance between the principal focus and pole what is r r is the distance between the center of curvature and pole okay for this let us draw a concave mirror like this this is the silver portion of the concave mirror that is non reflecting surface this one is the reflecting surface okay this is the pole let us draw the principal axis straight line like this this is the principal axis and this one is the center of curvature and this is the focus okay this distance between the pole and focus is known as focal length distance between pole and center of curvature is known as r that is radius of curvature now we have to derive the relation between this and this okay when a parallel beam of light incident on the concave mirror when a parallel beam of light is incident on the concave mirror what happens it gets reflected back it get reflected back like this this reflected ray get focused at a point that point is called as focus or principal focus to measure this angle of incident and angle of reflection what we have to do we have to draw a normal where we have to draw a normal we have to draw a normal line from the center of curvature we have to draw a normal line from the center of curvature like this this is the normal line so the angle between this incident ray and normal 
is known as angle of incidence that is theta. The angle between this normal and this reflected ray is known as angle of reflection that can also be written as theta. Let us call this point as M. Okay. The CM is the normal light. This theta is the angle of reflection and this theta is the angle of, sorry, this theta is the angle of incidence and this theta is the angle of reflection. Okay. And this angle is also theta because these are the alternative angle. If this is theta, then this one is also theta. Okay. This also theta. These two are the interior angles. So this one is the exterior angle. Exterior angle is the sum of interior angles. That is theta plus theta is 2 theta. Theta plus theta is 2 theta. Or this can also be written as these are the alternating angles. The theta plus theta is 2 theta. And this one is also 2 theta. Okay. Now we have two triangles. One is M, C, P. Another, sorry, let us draw a perpendicular line here. Let us draw a perpendicular line. This is M and this point is known as D. Now we have two triangles. It is MCD and MFD. MCD is going to derive R and MFD is to derive F. Okay. Let us consider the first triangle. First right angle triangle. Which one is first right angle triangle? M C D. Here you clear that P is the pole, F is the focus, C is the center of curvature, MD is the perpendicular, line theta is the angle of reflection, so incidence and this theta is the angle of reflection, a small f is the focal length, capital R is the radius of curvature and from the figure PF is equal to F and PC is equal to R. Okay. From the triangle M, C, D. What is tan theta? Here yeah. tan theta is the opposite by adjacent side. Here yeah. from the triangle M, C, D. Opposite side is M, D. And adjacent side is D, C. Okay. Here yeah. theta is very small because we consider paraxial rays. Paraxial rays are parallel to the principal axis. So since theta is very small, then if theta is very small, then tan theta is approximately equal to theta. So instead of theta, you will write theta. So instead of tan theta, you will write theta. So theta is equal to MD by DC. Call this as equation number 1. Okay. Next, we will consider another triangle that is M, F, T. From the triangle M, F, T. Again, we define tan theta. But here theta is 2 theta. So, tan 2 theta is equal to, again, what is tan theta? M, T by F, T. That is opposite by adjacent side. Our opposite side is again same. That is M, T. Adjacent side is D, F. Okay. There also tan theta is, sorry, tan 2 theta is approximately equal to t 2 theta because theta is very small. This can be written as 2 theta is equal to md by df. Call this as equation number 2. This is clear? Next substitute equation 1 in equation 2. You will get 2 into Theta is from equation 1, that is theta is equal to MD by DC is equal to, right hand side is MD by DF. Here, MD, MD get cancelled. Remaining is 2 by DC is equal to 1 by DF. This can be written as DF is equal to DC by but here P D is very close to P. D is very close to P. So D is approximately equal to P. Therefore, P F D F is equal to P F. D F is equal to P F. Therefore, D F is approximately equal to P F. That will be equal to focal length F and 
dp is approximately equal to dp sorry dc is approximately equal to pc this is approximately equal to pc that will be equal to r okay therefore this equation becomes substitute df is equal to result f dc is equal to r that is r by 2 f is equal to r by 2 this is the famous relation that is f is the focal length and r is the radius of curvature that means focal length is the half of radius of curvature this is the relation between focal length and radius of curvature and also, and also we can write this equation as r is equal to 2f f is equal to r by 2 or r equals 2f that means focal length is the twice of radius of curvature it is very important derivation it carries 3 marks in your exam okay